Okay, so we just arrived and let me tell you already the experience has been awesome. I was greeted at the car and he took my bags, sent them off to my room already and I haven't even checked in yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and when I got to the parking lot, they were all there greeting me and directing me where to park and they opened my door for me and took my luggage, my bags, everything. The service I think overall at the crane blew me completely away. Never experienced anything quite like it. Excellent service, no one great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Number one. It was nothing at all like, like what I expected. You know, I thought it was like a lot of old world, foofy foofy. But it, it was excellent. Um, the room, I like the, the room. It was simple but very, very tastefully decorated. And the plunge pool for sure on the, the balcony it was nice. Oh, the rooms are awesome. Um, Gosh, it's so funny because as soon as I got into the room and I saw this bathroom, I was like, oh wow, look at this shower, it's beautiful. It's, it's like a, a glass door, full length and everything. And only when I went a little further into the room and made a left and another left, then I saw the real bathroom. The person already had me. I remember telling the general manager that if I could figure out how to pack that room up into a suitcase and take it with me, I would. So that would tell you the rooms were pretty spectacular and breezy, cool, you didn't need AC. It was a huge balcony, the room that we were in. Um, lots of space. I left my porch doors open and so the wind could come in and keep me cool all night long and I don't know I think the rooms are fantastic. Barbados this is for you man. Yeah. We're doing this for you. <laughs> we, we have a great product here and we take it for granted and I admit that I don't take full advantage of it either, and I think they should. I mean, tourists pay tons of money to come here to experience what we have right here at home. Most people may have a misconception that, you know, you're Bayesian or Caribbean national, so staff at hotels don't really care about you. But that was not the experience that I had at all. It was total 180 degrees. Like, they didn't even want to leave, <laughs> put it that way. That I find the crane has been very good at accommodating all kinds of um, preferences. Meat, whether you eat meat or not, you can find something at the crane. Just a reminder, we're at Carriage House. And I've got a nice garden salad going here with some sun dried tomatoes and some cucumber, grilled vegetables in my wrap. And what did you get, Kurt? I got the crab. It's a crab salad wrap mm -hmm. with vegetables also. We just ordered it like five, ten minutes ago and it's here already. One of the things I found about their menu that was pretty good, they, they had a wide variety. You had some vegetarian dishes, you had meat lovers, beef, lamb, um, pork, chicken and fish, lots of fish. I only eat fish so I was really really pleased to see that and not just one fish dish either. Really good. Does that get a four thumbs up? Four and a half. Four point oh, four. Point four. All right. <laughs> I had um, a red onion and tomato tart, which was really, really good, very creamy, and because it had a goat cheese. And for my main, I had black and dorado, which is dolphin, and on potatoes, almost like a scalloped potato. And it was really, really good. It wasn't overly seasoned that you couldn't taste the flavor of the fish or the potatoes. It was very, very nice. And for dessert, I went over to Zen. Yes, I went over to Zen. Didn't have sushi. Sushi is off the chain at Zen. I don't need to sample the sushi, but I never had their desserts. And I tried a lychee dessert for the very first time ever, and it was delicious. And the Sunday, the brunch with the gospel choir, I thought that was a nice touch also, because I had no idea that they come there every Sunday. That was nice. I think a nice start if you're spiritual or religious, that would be nice. The whole atmosphere is very conducive, conducive sorry, to families, for sure. Anything you want to do, I'm sure that you could do it at the crane. That's what I like about it the most. It surprised me, and it was way better than, than I expected it to be. I think I thought of everything, really. We're on our way to the Pong Pong! This is why I am not a pilot. You know, it's here in Barbados. Come and experience it for yourself. 
this is the same video you're going to watch on board the plane. So this is for guests that have difficulty making it up the stairs. I thought it would be boring and like, what can they tell you about a plane? But that also, that weekend was quite good. It turned out um, that you can learn a lot. All right, people are going on the plane now. So, fasten your seat belts. For those of you who cannot walk up the stairs to see the video, so you, you can sit down here and get it downstairs. This is the same video you're going to watch on board the plane. So this is for guests that have difficulty making it up the stairs. And it's a museum, I like museums. I never looked at it from that point of view, being a museum, just an attraction. Alpha Echo was the first Concord to arrive in Barbados in 1977. So here at the Concord Experience, it's just taking in everything. I mean this plane is so big, or close. I didn't expect it to be this large. <laughs> um, on my left is the first major built aircraft. It looks pretty cool. It, it looks like a one-seater. So they spoke to you about the design of it. Concorde small windows, but those in the aisle seats will often get a glimpse of the runway through the open cockpit door. The amount of pilots it takes to actually fly the Concorde, that surprised me also. And that the instruments were in analog, like for something which is so high tech, I did not expect the instruments to be all analog. Right there, I'm excited too. I can't wait to get on board. I'm hoping we get to get on board so we can see inside because I've never, ever, ever seen inside it. Actually, I came this close to the Concorde once. Oh, here's night. I don't know if you guys may have known Bliss Concorde experience. That was as close as I came. I, I thought it might have been boring. I have to be honest. I thought it might have been a little bored. But when I got there and I actually saw it and I got to tour it, and I got to watch the films about it and see the people that traveled on it and see how the VIP lounge looked and got to try to do the flight simulator where I actually flew the Concorde. Okay, well, I didn't fly it. I kind of crashed it. Come on. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. But that's, that's beside the point. I was impressed. And I, I think, and I learned a lot. One suitcase for passenger, 20 kilos. One suitcase, so JJ in trouble. <laughs> 20 kilos for your luggage? Are you kidding me? That's my hair products alone. I would not have made it at all. But um, it was it turned out to be quite fun, and I'm glad that I went. You can come into this cafe and get some souvenirs. We showed you some souvenirs before, and just have a complete experience. I would encourage anyone to come and check out the Barbados Concord experience. It's, it's been awesome so far. Let's see how Captain Kirk is doing with that ball. Beach ball for us. There he goes, look at his cheeks like Dizzy Gillette. He's got nothing on Dizzy Gillespie, people. <laughs> that was the end. Concord experience was excellent. I mean, the interactive presentation, Sasha, cheese on bread, <laughs> Simone. And I, I honestly, honestly, honestly had a ball. <laughs> For those of you who got that, just smile. And say bye to Victor. And Roseanne. Bye. And Roseanne. Bye. bye. We'll see you soon. Yeah, we had a good, good time. <laughs> So that's it. Anything you can think about that you want to do in terms of relaxation, adventure, Barbados is definitely the place to be. I had a friend who came from Texas and she lived her life for two years here like a tourist and I said to myself, you know what, I need to take a page out of her book and enjoy my image. She calls Barbados her home. I live here and I don't appreciate it like she did. And I think staycation affords you that opportunity and I think we really need to take full advantage of it.